What you may not know is that there are seven super common habits in the workplace that might seem like normal office behavior, but that are actually holding you back. But lucky for you, we at Boardwalk are not just a lifestyle brand based outside Los Angeles. We're also a thriving business dedicated to a functional workplace environment because we know these seven habits when we see them and we know what to do instead. But before I can tell you, I'm gonna need you to smash that subscribe button and follow us on TikTok and Instagram. So without further ado, here are the seven workplace habits you need to stop doing immediately immediately and what to do instead. Number one, trying to get ahead at work. Since decapitation is frowned upon in most modern civilizations, it can be extremely difficult to get ahead in the office. Instead, just bring in a head you already have from home. Josh, one of our coworkers here, said the two different experiences were night and day for him. My freezer can hold five human heads, so I'm good for the week. Number two, writing resumes and applying for jobs to get them. This can be a serious waste of time, energy, and even money. That's why we recommend mastering the art of mind control instead. Number three, signing contracts digitally. As technology continues to evolve, your information can become increasingly vulnerable. With sensitive documents, don't just roll the dice and put them online to be signed. Instead, use the much less risky method of having your clients, employees, and other counterparts sign their contracts in blood. Number four, going to HR for conflicts with coworkers. Workplace drama is annoying enough, and bringing HR into it can just feed the fire. Instead, face the conflict head on. Ascertain a strand of your coworker's hair, because Become proficient in voodoo and manipulate your coworker at your will without them even knowing. This saves everybody time, headache, and paperwork. Number five, stop driving to work in a car or taking public transportation. Instead, save money on gas and cut your carbon emissions in half by flying a magic broom to work. Number six, stop publicly solving minor problems that you created in the first place to get praise. Instead, save the entire office from a life-threatening poltergeist that you summoned. It's absolutely crucial to think outside the box. Number seven, stop worrying about not having your hair or makeup done when you're running late for an important meeting. In fact, stop doing your hair and makeup for meetings altogether. If you're leading a meeting and you want to be taken seriously, turn yourself into a werewolf instead and no one will resist your leadership. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching and be sure to leave a comment telling us which of these habits you tried this week and how it improved your work performance. Until next time.